Hi everyone, my name is Mehmet Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a Dance Academy website using PHP, MySQL, jQuery and Bootstrap framework. In my last video I completed the functionality of uploading the student profile and in this video I will discuss about designing the student dashboard. Okay, so before coming to today's uh, topic, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video, click on like button, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any queries, then let me know in the comment section. So now let us start our discussion on designing the student dashboard. So now let me just first go to the editor. So here you can see I had already created a file with the name as student dashboard PHP file and in this PHP file I have already written a few common code that is I have already included the database configuration file. I have started the session and I have written some uh, PHP validation so that no authorized user can access this page. And then I have included a header and a footer at the bottom and in between the header and footer I have created a container which consists of three divs. The first div is of three column and second div is of nine column and in the third three column div I have included the sidebar which is present under the sidebar and now in the ninth column div I will be writing down the code for designing the student dashboard. Okay, so now let me first log out from the admin panel so this is the admin panel so i will log it out and now i will log in as one of the student okay now i have entered the details of a student and when i click on login you will see nothing is displaying now i want to create a right side section where i can create uh, where i can display the student image and i can display the details of the student okay so now let's come here and here now I have written a S3 tag okay and then a do with a class of jumbotron and few inline styling and then I have created a row which consists of three further dues. First due is of five column where I will be displaying the image of the student and the second due is of seven column where I will be displaying the details or the information about that student. Okay. So here I have first accessed the student user ID from the session. So whenever any user gets logged in, I will be storing the details, few details about that logged in user inside the session. Okay, so one of the detail which I had stored inside the session is, session is the student ID and I have collected that and stored inside this user ID variable. Then I have written a SQL query which will select the details of that particular student who has currently logged in based on the user ID. Okay, select star from TBL students where user ID equals to this user ID. Okay, and then I have executed this SQL query uh, by passing that query along with the connection inside this MySQL query function. And then I'm checking uh, if the user has certain records. Then I'm checking if I find related record inside the student's table, then I will iterate over the records and I will get the student image okay which I am trying to display here uh, with few inline styling and I am also displaying the username and that username I am fetching from the session and here you can see in the else portion I am trying to display the default image okay so if the student has not yet uploaded their profile in that case I will be displaying the default image that means the control will come inside the else part where I will be displaying this image Otherwise, I will be taking the image from the MySQL table and username from the session and I will be displaying that detail. Okay, and now let's save it and let's refresh. Now you can see uh, the dashboard started displaying and uh, a student image along with the name started displaying. Okay, now next is session uh, username okay so if the user has not uploaded their profile image in that case also i will be displaying the image and the name of that student okay then uh, i need to go to the seven column due where i'm going to display the details of the student here i have created an unordered list 
with the class of list group and here also get some information from the session and that information is like student user id and here also i have written a separate sql query which will select the student details from the student table and if i found any record in the table then i will iterate over those records and i will try to display that record in the form of a list with few bootstrap styling okay i will display the age okay using the span inside the span i will display the age of the student so now let's refresh the page okay now you can see the age started displaying and i will also display the gender okay and similarly i will display the date of joining okay save it so refresh okay so a gender and date of, date of joining started displaying and next i will display the address okay refresh okay so this is the student dashboard so whenever a student gets logged in the, so the students will be taken to this dashboard okay so uh, with respect to student dashboard we have completed all the features okay so we have tried to cover uh, designing the dashboard of the student and then allowing the student to upload their profile detail uh, and this one we had done in our previous video okay uh, so uh, this is everything about uh, designing the dashboard for a student so i hope you guys uh, like this video i hope you guys understood how to uh, design such kind of feature in my next video i will come up with some other feature and i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching